Now we're going to show you how to make a PVP test. So you're going to run many speeds and you're going to create a PVP at the end so that you can look at the data in any number of ways. So we're going to do a temperature warm up and you're welcome to do a timed warm up. It does not matter. If you're using gas pressured shocks, you should probably use a temperature based. And if you're using twin tubes, might be easier to just use a time based but again completely up to you all of this is is make it as however you'd like to make it as long as it's repeatable you always want to do the same thing so done our warm-up we're going to do our start recording we're going to do our gas test which we call rod force because that's really what it is it's just the force of the damper pushing out because of the pressure so you got a rod force, and so now we're going to do, let's see, we want to do a PVP that many speeds. Is that one, two, three, 11 speed, big PVP. We've got a very soft shock. We want a wide range. So we're going to go into the first one. We're going to say, do that at one inch. Now you can just type those in as well keep in mind so I could just type in go to five leave that one at ten and let's pretend we have some kind of uh, a VDP piston and it's going to do something at a higher velocity and that's what we're really trying to find where does that happen so we're gonna go out to 20 and I'm actually going to just get rid of these I did too many you can see how easy it is to do that so I'm gonna test it one two three five seven and a half ten twelve fifteen twenty so I'm gonna try to figure out where that second shim stack comes into play so I've got those speeds I then click on create a PVP Again, stop recording, move to the bottom. Now we can look at a few things. When you create your PVP, you can create it at centered at zero displacement, peak velocity, or peak force. Now these two can be tricky because a perfect damper makes peak force or peak velocity, but rarely do we have a perfect damper. Sometimes we have things inside of a damper, big gas chambers, additional springs, so that either one of these can cause problems as long as you know that it doesn't matter but we're just trying to tell you the centered at zero displacement is the best way to be repeatable and manufacturers use that a lot of times because it's always going to look at this little window and do a little bit of an average this first one is not functioning at the moment so just ignore it and, uh, and bear with us but you're going to use one of these three this is the most common one so you have these. Now the other thing is that's new, uh, a good feature of the probe software is you see that right now we're waiting a cycle and we're running three for every run. But on these very slow speeds you do not need to run that many because it takes a lot of time to run slow as you, as you, you watch the crank go around. Because it gets to speed very quickly only needs this one cycle to get the frequency in run one cycle, especially all of these. These are all very slow. So you can reduce the amount of time your shock spends running so you can make more changes, get more data. So it's seven and a half. Let's say we go to two. And let's say we go to uh, three is good for there at 12. And I will show you another interesting feature Rather than say wait to cycle and go to three, if we just click on wait for frequency reached, it's going to wait however many cycles we say here. So if we say 10, it will run until it gets to the speed we requested, this 15 inches, and then it will start to collect. If it only takes two cycles to get there, it'll start right then. If it takes nine, it'll start then but this way the faster you go the shock dyno needs time to warm up 
and this feature really helps you get there while saving cycle time. Again, we're going to do this at 20 inches. We're going to wait 10 again because I think it's going to get there in plenty of time. And if, if it doesn't get there, the machine will tell you and you'll just alter that. So there you have it. You're all done. Do your save as and try to get your screen where you can you can use it. You can say WPVP. This is a one, two, three, five, seven. And that way you have created a PVP centered at zero displacement. And you save cycle time so that it doesn't take as long.